Okay, so we're making mutias, and for this mom, how much oil do we have in there? One and a half. Cup. Okay, so basically we're going to show you the method, and then the recipe is going to be in the description. So, because we're making a lot, and so I don't want to put the, tell you guys the measurement, because you guys will be able to feed your neighbors and their neighbors and their neighbors. So, um, so basically she put in um, um, oil, and once it started warming up, we went ahead and put in cumin, and we hadn't put in um, um, right, is it mustard. Uh, mustard seeds. And once that starts popping, um, we're gonna wait. We also put in some of my favorite Anaheim peppers. Now, obviously, if you wanted to make this spicier, go ahead and add jalapeno, habanero pepper, or you could add scotch bonnet pepper if you want. Um, or if you have any of my favorite um, pilim pilim boozy chutney or um, any of that stuff, you can use that stuff or green chutney. But um, we're just using the Anaheim pepper today. So now we add that the onions in there and mom made sure that they were pretty fine. So one big onion. So we did one big onion on, in this one. So um, and it, they, it should fry up and kind of become less. Right, mom? Okay. So now mom's gonna go ahead. Okay, and nobody wanna start mixing it? Okay, so um, what, we're, what I'm gonna do with this video is it's gonna be a little different than the w videos I make all the time just because mom's here and she's actually teaching me also how to do it. So we're gonna be putting in ingredients as it comes and we're gonna be naming them. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what we have in there right now. So, but if you do go to the recipes, you should find it in the description that everything will be in proper measurements there. So we're just gonna, um, mommy, saute this until? Yeah. Until it's golden brown. Okay, so we'll wait this and we'll saute this until golden brown. So we're gonna come back once this is golden brown. So now we are getting, we're getting, um, we're getting um, the uh, mutia stuff the done, dumpling. the stuff, the dumplings in. So we had um, the bajri flour. Baj flour. flour in here, and mom put spinach in here, into breast. and some of the um, tuver lilva, yeah. which is uh, barazi. barazi, which is called barazi, and then she put in um, some lemon, uh, some garlic and ginger. And she put in about what's how, and some 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 uh, cayenne and some cumin and coriander crushed. We're gonna add some turmeric in there too. And this is the only one thing that I think Mom does a little differently. She does uh, she just, she does add the spinach because it makes the dumplings really um, taste and really really good. And then we just bind it. Let's see. Okay, and then we're gonna add salt in there. And you want, mom, do you, what kind of water do you use to um, bind this? Regular. Just regular water? Mm -hmm. And you just wanna um, bind the dough. So we're gonna bind the dough, I'm just gonna grab some water. So I wanted to show you the color of the onions and they're pretty dark and that's how you okay. want it. Um, and so we got that in and then we added uh, some ginger and garlic in here too and the reason why we put the ginger and garlic in here too is because you really are going to get some really good aromas going and then we're going to go ahead and add some crushed tomatoes in here okay so we're gonna go and then we're gonna go ahead and add, we cut up some potatoes and we added, we're gonna go ahead and add some potatoes in here. And now these are not cooked potatoes, they're, we just. You can boil and put them. You could boil and put them in, but I think you are at more of a risk of breaking them down. So I think mom does it this way just because we don't want to break the potatoes. Um, and when you keep everything like this, we're gonna let it cook, so it's really gonna get out some really, really good flavors out from there. So to this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add some more turmeric in here. One teaspoon. Okay. okay. 
some cayenne. Some cumin and coriander powder. It already looks really good, I think. And salt to taste. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some tomato paste in there. If we need more, I have some. We even haven't even added the good stuff in there. It still smells amazing. So I'm so looking forward to dinner tonight. Now, mind you, I'm just turning this with my left hand, so I'm not doing a really good job of it, but. So we're gonna get these potatoes cooked halfway. While that's working, we are gonna go ahead and bind the dough for the um, dumplings. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and add little by little, we're gonna add water until we um, form some dumplings. Basically enough to form um, dumplings. So we just fried this up just a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some aubergines or eggplant. And you can see that we didn't cut the um, eggplants very, very tiny. They're pretty okay sized pieces so that when they get cooked, they don't become all mushy and kind of get into it. So, um, and now we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, spinach. Now my mom taught me something here, which we, we froze the spinach. And then what we did was just crushed it in the bag. So this really minimizes the um, whole step of, you know, chopping it up. Because that, that would take another five, seven minutes just to do that. So that is the reason mom just freezes it every time, crushes it all up in the bag, and then we just throw it in. So that's a, a good quick step here. It looks like a lot right now, but it's basically going to completely... Um, shrivel and become really less. Okay. I'm gonna give this a good mix. Make sure every, all the ingredients are incorporated really, really well. And we're halfway there, aren't we, Mom? Mm -hmm. Or more than halfway there. Mm -hmm. So it's really not a big deal to make this. It mm -hmm. really goes fast if you've got all your stuff ready. Because here we get everything in. Yeah, and you get everything ready here in packets. So really not much to do. All right? And also, I just wanted to show you here the um, um, dough that she's done for the dumplings. So it's, 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 it's nice and... Um, I'm sure you can, you know, it's nice and soft, and mom's just gonna make these um, dumplings that uh, kind of look like that. So we're gonna shape these up, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna come back and show you what we're gonna do with that. So here we have, Cori it's not, Cori it's, it's methi. This is methi, and mom's putting some dried fenugreek leaves in here. Now you could use fresh, um, but we don't have any fresh, we didn't get any um, available, the fresh ones. So we're gonna go ahead and use the dry ones. They're just as good. So again, that would be as much as if you like a lot of fenugreek, you'd add <coughs> a lot. If you were like, I, like me, I just don't like too much fenugreek in my stuff. So she's not gonna add that much in there, so. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, um, help mom with the other stuff when we come back. I'm going to show you. Oh, mom said she's going to go ahead and add the barazi in there. And I wanted to show you what the barazi is. It's actually tuver lilva. Um, you can get it in a can um, available at Indian stores. Now, these, uh, in my understanding, mom says that they're available frozen or dried. 
but the frozen one also you need you would have to cook them um, or boil them so the easiest way for me is to buy the cans I just rinsed it I rinsed all of them off in the in some water to get um, rid of the excess fat or the excess salt and I'm just we're just gonna add that so basically any other beans would really look nice and then to this we're also going to go ahead and add some red kidney beans in there I love red kidney beans so um, I think as much as we have in there I don't mind it I love red kidney beans so basically it's pretty much optional if you want to add mom chora right you add chora now I will have to find out what chora is in English but uh, so basically any type of beans that you like I know people add peas in there uh, personally uh, I don't like the peas in there they just taste sweet I don't like the corn in there so basically for me this is what I like now if you guys like peas and corn go ahead add it in there it's not gonna hurt my feelings I promise so this is basically I think 80% done the only other two things that we did was I want to show you here that yep so what we did here, I've got some meat that I've boiled here, and I've got about two pounds of beef stew. I don't use um, lamb or anything like that. I just use regular beef stew. Um, and then here, what we did is I have this guar, which is cluster beans, and you could either use fresh or you could use frozen. Um, and then we also used the drumsticks, which is, this is what it looks like. Um, I, I just love drumsticks in, in this um uh, uh, mutia and then here I we just went ahead and boiled this until they were um, nice and soft so they're not mushy they're not you know halfway done they're just perfectly boiled and I think if they're boiled well then you know to add it in the mutia would be very very simple so we'll put last so this doesn't... yep so this is the last thing that we're going to add in there because we don't want to cook it any more than we already have so at this point um, we've covered it and we're going to let it cook for what, about five, five to seven minutes? Maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. In the meantime, mom's making the, um, Mutia. mutias, which is the dumplings. And what we're going to do is I have a little, uh, a frying pan here and mom, yes. enough. And we are just going to add just a little bit of water in there. Now, I know there's a lot of recipes that, um, go ahead and add the whole um, they add it to the mutia itself and let it cook. Now, I'm going to have mom tell you why um, she does it this way. So, mom, you want to explain them why? Because uh, sometimes when you want it done, um, you just want to flip them over so they're cooked all over and they break. Yeah, in the break, and then okay. when, when you stir the stew, it breaks. Okay, so when you stew the, if what she's saying is when if you, you know, if you went ahead and put it in here, and you went ahead and, because there's a lot of stuff in there, and it's very, very thick. So if you went ahead and um, stirred it, there's a lot of chance that that's going to break, and, and we don't want to break our... And um, I make dumplings a little bit bigger in size, because some people don't like it, so they can just don't take it if so it they is. can know that the difference that this is a dumpling and if they don't like to eat the dumpling they can either take it out or leave it where they won't be putting it in their plate so she makes them just a little bit bigger than everybody else but we're just going to add them in just a little bit of water so then what you do is you're just going to move it just like this so you really don't have to turn it no, and then we'll have to just we're going to cover it so it, so it cooks in its own steam so once they're cooked i'm going to come back and we're going to do the last um things that we need to get this mutia all done. So now our potatoes and our aubergines or our eggplant is cooked. Mom's gonna go ahead and put the meat and a little bit of the soup in there because the soup was really, really good. And I have no fat on it at all. So this is my meat is completely fatless. That's why I like to put the um, stock in there. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Let me show you, our dumplings look amazing. Look at how nice and um, they're pretty. We just covered it and let, let it uh, do its thing. It steamed on its own. And um, you know, it just went ahead and did this and everything is just coming apart. Or you could take a spatula and just take those out. Now, last year we're gonna go ahead and add the drumsticks and um, the and the guar. Um, and mom's just going to give it a really good mix here because you want to uh, incorporate all these ingredients really, really well together. 
And the drumsticks are completely optional, but I, this is one dish I think is incomplete without the drumsticks. So if you can get a hold of them, it'd be nice for you to try it out with. And you kind of just suck on them and then actually the, the, the meat part is the inside of the meat is inside them. So you would basically, much. huh? Don't boil too much. Don't boil it too much is what mom's saying. So basically you would kind of suck it and then the outside piece you would throw away. Um, and we've got, um, you know, I don't cook with without lemon pepper. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some lemon pepper in there. Um, just add everything in there, Mom. There's a lot. Yeah, we're just going to add everything in there. Because I like my stuff a little tart. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going around here. Now we're going to go ahead and add our coconut milk in there. And this, uh, the one that I'm using is the Savoy brand. Um, it's the blue cans and that has a lot more cream in there. So it's got um, less of the milk and more of the cream. So you don't have to add a whole lot in there. But like I said, we've made a whole lot. So the measurements will all be in the description part of the video. Okay, we're gonna mix it and we'll see if we really need to add a third can, but we have a second can ready to go. And I know that um, the brown cans don't have as much um, cream in it because that's the milk. That's coconut milk. But this is actually the coconut cream and it's not sweetened. Just to point that out that this is the unsweetened version of the coconut cream. It's a good idea to um, just put a little water in your cans so that you really um, you really are cleaning off the cans completely because um, there's just too much cream left in there. Again, we're going to give it a good mix. Now see how if we had the dumplings in there, I think it would break. I would honestly think that they would break. So I think the, the way my mom does it is excellent that I think we need another there we go. And I think we're going to need a third can of coconut cream. So I'm going to go get that. We're going to go put it in and then I'm going to show you what the end result is. So mom? Just said maybe half a, tin, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of garam masala and and it's done. And we're all done with making mutia. So I've got so many people who are just asking me, asking me, asking me, and we finally got this done. I'm sorry, not gonna be able to edit that part out. It's a doorbell. I'm very, very sorry, but we're all done. I'm gonna um, show you a picture of it. Um, lastly, um, there will be a final picture, but I'm telling you, I tasted it, and it is amazing, amazing. So we're done with this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope I can see you here next time with another great video.